Hello people, in this video I'll give a quick overview of what's the expected end result, or the reference project for this for, for this series. I was uh, I already recorded the the first episode on the where I started coding, but then I realized it's probably a good idea to give an overview of what's the of what's the objective before starting coding like a maniac. So. I'm recording this one and we'll publish this one before the other just to make sure when when I start coding everyone understands why I'm doing what I'm doing instead of just coding and explaining afterwards probably not the best so let let me just get here the, the Google Doc so I can write some some stuff so like I mentioned in the in the project in the project in the intro video the goal of the project is to develop a system for for an application for managing events uh, sports events between friends like playing football or soccer on the weekend or uh, basketball games uh, stuff like that so let's just get some features set out of these loose ideas just to so we can have a kind of a goal it's not really organized that's not really the point of this project but at least some idea of what what we're going to do maybe it's important so what do we want we want basically I'll start with the concepts like the, the concepts are of this of this whole project so basic stuff we'll want users like maybe every application it's important users then we'll need groups and in the groups of people that will play the sport on the weekend or whatever so in here we will group the, the various users who play together we'll have a concept of a player because uh, uh, maybe a, a, a user could be in multiple groups and it has a player in each group that represents himself so the statistics and all that stuff will be associated with each group uh, and uh, besides that from my experience sometimes people just some of the people that that play just don't want to go to the computer so it's nice for the guys that w want to use the computer and organize everything to be able to have players that don't re represent directly a user for instance we have uh, uh, 10 people that normally go to play and only five usually use the computer the other ones don't so the ones that use can click create the other players so can keep the stats and all that all of that even if their their friends don't go to the computer so we have the players of course we have teams which will will be in the context of an event another concept which is basically yeah, I don't know if it's a event or a match an event maybe an event is better is better because depending on the sport but for now something like that so a team will be depending on the match some friends work uh, define teams and play every time with those teams some others in each match change the teams so probably the team will be scoped to each event or not but no, or maybe both basically but we'll find out how to do that along the way i have no idea more match game i don't know match event game it's kind of the same the same concept maybe in different types of sports the, this will be a problem but for now and uh, statistics is something we'll want to have so these are ba the basic concepts if this is were a crude app it's 
one repository each, but it will it won't be. So imagine like a microservice architecture, something like that. We have to fit in these concepts in a way that makes sense. So maybe talk about features from this from these concepts. What can we extract? We want to create and manage users. So the define the name, uh, nickname, profile picture, other things I can't remember right now. So we have the groups, so we want to create and manage groups which is uh, invite users, create players and associated, associate players with users. Mm, let me think. I don't know. Uh, sport associated with the group, maybe, not know. More things, the groups. Then we have the players, which are in this concept. Then we can have matches. So, let me think. I think you're probably missing stuff that will complete along the way. If you, you think of some concepts I'm forgetting, please do comment and, uh, and speak about it. So, you want matches. Uh, the matches, we will want to like schedule the matches, add information. Like, uh, I don't know, uh, when, where, players for this match, teams for this match, more things, we'll want match events which means like uh, goals scored foul suffered and this depends on the sp sport that will be another challenge to, to tackle I have no idea yet um, ah, and another thing that will be nice to implement will be live. This will be so we have to watch a live game, not really see the game, but to like see the, the result and things happening. Not that it's really important for a friend organizing software, friend events organizing software, but we have to make it overkill. So live events it is. And uh, so probably these events should happen during the, the event, the, the, the live match. So it can be it can be updated live when seen by the others. Okay, so this is the basic feature set with these concepts. Now, let me get this window over here. Put this over here. 
we have this concept and we want to just let me a drink of water now how can we do this of course i have given a, a thought about this not really much but something so i was thinking of something of the sort of like so we have users let, let me just make here a big can i hide this window it would be nice ah good what we have here and i'll call this Text is here. Oh, this play ball. Now I need that text. Like 20. Really? Where's the. Yeah. I have never used this software. Not the best to try to. But I think it will work. No. Ah. Okay. So this will be the project. Project boundaries. So we need manage users. So probably something like the users component where we'll manage creating the users, authentication, authorization defining all that that stuff we talked <clears throat> then we need groups so maybe now one thing i forgot Communi communication so send emails push notifications manage preferences this is important so to define the kinds of notifications a user might want so we have group management we have like communication And we have the matches, matches. This is just my initial idea. I don't know if it's the best one. Probably this will change. And if you see th something that makes no sense, please say it. But right now, with the visibility we have on the project, probably the ideas are not yet very clear. That's why they say we shouldn't do microservices architectures from scratch. We should have a monolith, know how the domain works and then extract the services. I'm just going overkill again and uh, starting like this just for the learning experience. Another thing I thought was to separate the live matches because it will be very specific, the, the refreshing of the data in real time and all that stuff. And the, the other one can just keep the matches history and update slowly as needed. So uh, I thought it could be separated. I created a statistics one, not sure. One thing we will have to be have the be careful is to avoid all the services being communicated one to another, or we'll have just a big ball of mud. But like I said, we'll architect along the way. It's not like a super professional project, so we can do that. I think in terms of services, that's about it. 
and of course we need don't know if it should be outside or inside but a front end to expose all of this I would like to increase the font I have no idea how this is done here text Aha. like this okay We have something like this, right? And as we don't ha want to have the front end talking to all of this, we'll have something over here. And we'll do a back end for front end to. Mm. No, no. No idea how that arrow appeared. Ah. So the front end talks to this uh, like API gateway that's made specifically for this front end. So I'll, I'll call it what happened. <laughs> I have no better idea. I'll call it web front end. Or HTML front end, whatever. I don't like it. Web. It's kind of redundant, but okay. So if we we wanted like to have a mobile application, we would have another like. We would have something like this, but this won't happen. So, can I get this? There's a color, colors, colors. Yes, that's not going to happen. I don't think so, unless I want to play with Xamarin, <laughs> which is not stupid. <laughs> that's an idea, but it wasn't the idea. The original idea. The original idea is ASP.NET Core, which will be over here and probably here. And uh, okay, so this is like an architecture diagram, like invented in five minutes. So it will probably not be the end of it. We'll find out along the way. But this is the the basic idea of the project. And I thought it was be better to explain this before coding like a, a crazy person. Hope this this makes it interesting. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. See yous!